Authenticate the order. Fire order. Authentication code Victor Zulu Zulu Charlie Mike Yankee X Ray Whiskey Zulu Delta Delta Kilo. The order is authenticated. I concur. Well, we both come from different uh, positions here. I mean, I'm at the beginning of the pilot. I'm I'm possibly on my way home to another post on the on the homeland there, getting back to a, a life with my wife that Marcus might allow me when disaster strikes and he's forced to stay and uh, fight for what he believes in. Basically. Um. You know, I feel like uh, we're going to be, uh, as the men who fired the first shots into to Pakistan to begin this nuclear war, that we're going to be judged by history. Uh, and that, uh, of necessity, we have to uh, get this order right. So um, this is not a case, I think, of men who just decide that on one day they're not going to obey their orders, their shoot orders. But that this act is, is so... Um, so large, so devastating, so catastrophic that we have to make sure that we do this right. And in the course of doing this right, uh, we're betrayed by our own um, nation. You know, um, our sin really was to question this order rather than to follow it blindly. And um, you know, it's it's an age-old argument that goes back. The question is whether we're following orders as sailors. Our job is to follow orders or to follow legal orders. And that's a as an age-old debate uh, about what our duties are. But I feel strongly in this case that uh, Marcus um, has made the right choice by questioning his order, and also made the right order uh, choice by doing what was necessary in order to protect his crew. I'll be back in four months. Clear our names. To, you know, Ultimately, for us to clear our names. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. That's the long platform yeah. there. Yeah. There, there's nothing I want more than to go than to actually arrive at my own court martial. But um, the question is, will we live long enough to make it back for our court martial? And um, that's ultimately the game because we are um, sailors, um, we are patriots, and uh, we continue to want to do the right thing. It wasn't a conscious choice like that. I just, you know, I wasn't wanting to go back and do another you know, soap style, uh, romantic uh, basis of a show. I, I wanted to do something different. I mean, I'm doing many different movies and just atta uh, attacking different roles. And this wasn't a conscious decision. I didn't want to do a 180 for that, but it just came along and it's something that appealed to me and seemed like a really strong character and something that seemed very challenging at the same time. 10 seconds out! Hornets at the bottom! Hold on! Here it comes! Well, we're in Hawaii. We're shooting in Hawaii, in Oahu, in Hawaii, and uh, you know all the submarine take place on a big set on a gimbal. So it's very exciting that way. It actually works very well most of the time. It sort of <laughs> moves up and down. <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting set. Yeah, it's a it's a well-designed set. There's a, our production designer has really done a good job creating um, the, uh, the the con of the submarine, and it um, and it's it's a very helpful set um, as opposed to to being something that uh, they put green screen tape on, you know what I mean, and you have to imagine stuff. Uh, really, this is a very useful um, um, useful submarine in that it helps propel um, uh, our telling of the story. So, so the production design has done a really terrific job. Um, Real water is too expensive, so we uh, we have digital water, and we have uh, we have a, a very complicated set uh, inside the studio in uh, in Oahu. Sweet mother of God! They shouldn't be using the Antarctic network. They would only do that if the main one was taken out by a first strike. It's a long answer. <laughs> It's so not an easy question for sure. What's our reaction to that feeling of being at war with your own country? Well, I liked it because just from my perspective, I just, I automatically identified with the decision that they made as a group. I mean, I liked that they were brave enough to not go down the, the, the typical path there and uh, just say, no, this is, a, this is a bad order. We're not gonna follow this. We're gonna use our brains and uh, use our hearts and, and go down a, an unlikely path and deal with the consequences of that path.